In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Optimize Press Get Parameters Shortcode plugin that's included with the Optimize Press Plus Pack. This plugin allows you to pass values through to your Optimize Press pages from your page URL. So the first thing you need to do is install and activate the plugin. So you can see here on my site, I have the plugin installed and activated inside of the plugin section of WordPress. The next thing to do is go over to one of my pages. So you can see here, I have a landing page that I've created. I'm gonna show you two ways that this plugin can be used on this page. The first way is that you might want to pass a value from a URL to your page and embed that in a headline, for example. So from your CRM system, such as Infusionsoft or Aweber, you can normally generate a URL that includes the values um, such as name, email, and you can pass them through to a page that you send your visitors to or your subscribers to. And if you do that in the correct way with this plugin, you can embed those values on the page. So let's say, for example, I have a, a parameter coming from Aweber, which is your name. Uh, I can use this shortcode, which I'll include below this video so you can see all the different shortcodes you need to use below. And I can grab the value that's passed through with this your name parameter and embed it in the headline. Uh, I can also specify a default value. So if there's no value passed through, I can specify that I just wanted to say welcome so we don't end up with a blank space in the headline. So I'm gonna save that. And then if I pub view the public page, you can see at the moment it just says welcome. Now if I go up to the URL, I'm gonna put a question mark. I'm gonna put your name equals James. And then I'm going to click enter. So at this time I'm simulating that I'm passing through the value of James inside of the your name parameter. And you can see here that it's changed the headline to include the name that I've passed through. So that is one of the most simple ways you can use this, this uh, plugin to personalize your landing pages, your sales pages, or anything else when you're sending visitors from your user bases, such as in Infusionsoft, in Aweber, ActiveCampaign, or any of those solutions, you should be able to generate a URL. And you can obviously change that parameter. So if there is a different val variable that they're sending through, you can change this parameter here. And you can use this multiple times with different parameters in different parts of your pages. The second way that you might want to use this plugin is if you want to pass a value through to a page and then change the link that they, the user clicks after they land on this page. So let's say, for example, I have a sales page with a button on it. So let's just go down to the bottom of this page and I will add a separate button here. And I'm just going to leave it as it is. And at the bottom here, let's say that I'm sending the user through to optimizepress.com. Now, what I may want to do is specify the page that this viewer goes to or this visitor goes to based on a value that they've been sent from. So let's say that we have a promotion running and I want to send this person to a specific page for uh, promotion one. So let's say that we have promo in here as the parameter. So this will specify the URL here. And if I click insert, okay. And let's just remove this button here. Okay. So I'm gonna save this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we might use this. So if we go back to our page here, and this time we're gonna put promo and then I'm gonna put equals page one. So what this would mean is that the page they see here will not look any different. But if we go down to the bottom of the page here, you can see in the bottom left corner, it now says optimize press forward slash page one is the URL. So what that means is that if I've passed through the value of page one, from let's say uh, our Infusionsoft list, this person is gonna be sent to page one, which might be a special price for this product. And you might customize that based on where the visitor is coming from. And obviously that you can specify a default page as well for if they're coming from uh, just general traffic. So you can customize where your pages might send visitors after they've landed on them. 
And those are two of the most simple but powerful ways you can use this plugin in your business. Now, there are many other ways you can use this. One thing to note is that if you want to add a name or email field uh, value to our opt-in forms, that's the opt-in forms that you create with Optimize Press, there is a separate way to do that and I will link to the tutorial for that below this video. But if you're using your own forms on the page, that your own HTML, then this will work. So that's a quick summary of how to use this plugin. You will find more guidance below this video. And if you have any questions, please do contact our team.